now for this week's Goofy Award. And I want to take a walk down elitist lane. First stop, Harvard University, who's showing its ideological underpants by awarding Hillary Clinton the university's prestigious Radcliffe Medal. Obviously, there's no deplorables at Harvard. The announcement comes with the latest revelations involving the Clinton campaign funding of the bogus dossier, the Steele dossier, on Donald Trump. Maybe there's no Republicans either at Harvard. No, she's not receiving the medal for the highly questionable cattle trading scam or the Benghazi lies. She's receiving it as a champion of human rights, but not the rights of women. Let's get clear on that. And none of the women who accused her husband, Bill, of sexual being a sexual predator, even rape. Until it suited her political agenda, she was the anti-Me Too movement, vilifying anyone who stepped forward to accuse her husband. Juanita Broderick was a campaign worker at the time of her alleged rape that five witnesses said left her bruised and battered. But she recently wrote, I was 35 years old when Bill Clinton, Arkansas Attorney General at the time, raped me, and Hillary tried to silence me. I'm now 73, and it never goes away. No, Hillary's not getting it for support of women's rights. But Harvard's getting my goofy. Yeah, for choosing to ignore the litany of transgressions that are unavoidable if you review Hillary Clinton's public life. Putting politics before principle is the disease of the 21st century. The only question is, to society, is it terminal? As I say, I just shake my head thinking of that one there. I, I just, of, of what's been going on, you know, just all across. We've got to have a little more, uh, I don't know, sensitivity on that score. It just.